Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This video is a long time coming. Upgrading my 1022. You guys who watched the show would have seen it quite a while ago, over a year ago. Stock 1022, nothing done to it. And it did all right. You know, we flung the boob locks out of it at like 100 yards. But nothing crazy precision. Wasn't putting them in the same hole or anything. Well, a bunch of people said, well, that's because you never cleaned the thing. And you need to do this and you need to do that. And Well, uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But here's what I went and did. Actually, let me take a step back. Look at that green. Woo, we're going to talk about that in a second. I got an upgraded trigger from those folks that make the one that go bing, boom, bing, boom, bing, boom. It was way too complicated. My buddy put that trigger in for me. But then I went to doing the stock and the barrel and all this, and I took that trigger pack out, and guess what? It went wing into a thousand pieces. And I have all those thousand pieces in this little baggie right here. I watched videos online on how to do it. Long story short, all the little springs and all the doodads have to be in there just perfectly. Pretty complicated, at least in my mind. The 1022 trigger that does the bing, 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 bing. Um, so then it got kind of put to the side because my buddy put the complicated trigger in for me. I didn't even get to put a video out on it because I tried to do all these upgrades and then the trigger went into splody bits. Well, let's get into where we're at right now. No trigger in there. This is a Hogue rubberized stock, you know, rubber in the back. The whole thing's literally rubber. If you grab it anywhere, it's rubber. Pretty cool. Pretty budget friendly. This is probably like the cheapest 10, 1022 stock that you can get. The original one was wood. I literally took a handsaw to hack it off because it was too complicated to take apart and I didn't have the patience for it. So I just sawed that sucker in half. Then the barrel. This is definitely an upgrade. Give you a whole look at this barrel. This is a 1022 barrel that I got from Summit Precision in the green carbon fiber. Came threaded, which is part of what I wanted a new barrel for. Super light, it's carbon fiber, and it's in my favorite color of green. So, I've got the... Regular action in here, to, to swap a barrel on a 1022, it's super easy. It's two screws right in there. Bada bing, bada boom. And I believe I have it tightened up into this like it should be. We're going to find out. But now the next step is a mag, which I don't even know where my original mag is anymore. Is it in this baggie? Nope. It's not. It's probably in one of my drawers somewhere with where I put the magazines at. And then... I gotta have a trigger. You gotta have a trigger. Well, this one, like I said, it's way too complicated. So, guess what? I got a new trigger. I'm fixing to show you, hold on. All right, let me show you the trigger I got for this. A huge thanks to my buddy, Joseph. I won't say your last name, but Joseph sent me this trigger in to help me finish this 1022 project. So. Big shout out to Joseph. Everybody in the comments say big thanks to Joseph for helping us finish this 1022 project where I can actually get it done. So, if you've never seen one of these before, let me turn that light off. That didn't really help, did it? Let me turn the light back on. It's called the BX Trigger from Ruger. It says right there, fits any Ruger 1022 or charger pistola. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, huh? And this is what it looks like. It comes in the box with this little protective thing to keep the hammer down there. But really upgrades your trigger. And it being all enclosed and everything and already put together like this, it's not going to go into splody bits like uh, like my other one did. I just got to drop that thing in there. And uh, do you remember how to put it back together? Well... Fixing my find out. Be right back. And a big thanks again to Joseph for sending me this trigger. Let's see what I can do. All right, check it out. That took me all of about two minutes. Luckily, I had kept the 
exploded bits of pieces of this thing because there there's two pins one that goes in here and one that goes in oh right about there i guess one here and one there that hold or pin this piece to the trigger peg so the trigger that comes standard in a 1022 you drop it out bling, it comes apart in like 10 12 15 different pieces this bx trigger comes as an enclosed unit almost like the cassette drop-in triggers for an ar that's what this is i like that check this out very first try i didn't even have to take it apart or anything and fool around with it very first try come on man gotta have the safety off boom hey it works very first try well, it wasn't supposed to stick back, but it did. We'll figure that out. First try. Maybe there's a burr right there or something. I don't know. But, needless to say, it's working. And I dropped the thing in there and put it back together. So, Hogue, budget-friendly Hogue sticky rubber stock from Brownells. Summit Precision. Uh green carbon fiber barrel that is threaded and that ruger bx trigger in there i couldn't quickly find the regular 10 mag there but i've got one of these these I'm, are pretty cool uh i'll show you here uh the only issue with these has always been the fitment is not perfect you can hear it make a noise it doesn't snap up in there perfectly you can see it's got some wiggle but that's the mag that i can find for now the next step is what in the devil did i do with this rail i had a 1022 rail on it before with a scope on it but that was over a year ago now and i don't know what i did with that so i'm gonna have to either do some digging might be in this drawer right here i don't know probably not probably faster <laughs> for me to just order a brand new one i'm sure there's something that's real cheap like 20 bucks or something but stay tuned we're going to be a whole going to be doing a whole lot of testing with this the only thing stock about this is that piece of metal right there and then the little charging handle aside from that all new ruger 1022 we're going to see what kind of precision we can get out of this summit precision barrel should be a whole lot of fun but hey thanks for stopping in thanks everybody for hassling me about getting this thing done there are going to be some videos on this thing real soon some blue light testing so on and so forth as soon as i get a rail here uh obviously there's no irons or anything on this barrel but hey appreciate y'all watching thanks for stopping by a whole lot more on this real soon appreciate y'all comment down below what you want to see next time make sure you go check out hootiehoo.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie hoo.